This weekend, our dreams, our goals may be tested by the weight of our obligations and responsibilities. So we may come to realize there is this need for um, organization or self-discipline. We may find ourselves feeling um, a tension between where we want to go and the obstacles that seem to stand in our way. So this weekend, we're being asked to pause, to reflect, to find the middle ground. And join me as we embark on a journey of self-discovery, gaining an understanding of how to embrace this energy and move forward today and every day. Hi, I'm Tilly. This is Tara with Tilly. Thank you for being here. Thank you for all the positive, loving support you send me each and every day. I appreciate you so much. Welcome to your weekend focus, August the 10th and the 11th, 2024. So we'll start with the numerology we have on Saturday, the 10 energy. The 10 energy is about moving into a lighter energy. Uh, luck is on our side, starting to write the story of our path forward, the new chapters that we are about to walk in our life. Dreaming of the possibilities, of the potential. One plus zero is a one, so that is the I am. That is the independent. That is the trailblazer. We're willing to take risks. We want to meet those obstacles eyeball to eyeball and face them and conquer them, go through them and find the success on the other side. And if we look at the daily numerology for Saturday, it'd be an 8 plus a 1 plus an 8, and that gives us a 17. So making the impossible possible. And it truly is a day like that because with the energy, so many people are, are going to be willing to just throw in the towel on a day like today. Like, nah, it was a pipe dream, you know, and just go back to their usual rut. But you, you know what's happening in the sky. So you take a little bit of time out of your life to tap into that energy. And guess what? You can make the impossible possible. You see the way forward. There is this renewed hope in you, a desire to go forward, to accomplish all that you've set out for. One plus seven is an eight energy. I think over the last several days, I've talked about the eight energy to, um, to the end of being able to explain it in some new way. Okay, it's about growing our stature. It's about growing our prosperity, our finances, our self-worth even. On Sunday, we have the 11 energy. So we have a master number come into play, asking us to remove what no longer has value in our life, to make commitments to our self, set goals, and then show it the focus, the commitment, the consistency it needs in order to grow into the success you can see it as in your mind at this very moment. If we looked at the daily numerology for Sunday, it would be an eight plus an 11 plus an eight, and that gives us a 27 energy. And the 27 energy is all about things blooming, blossoming, things are ready for harvest. You know, for the work that we've done, we'll be rewarded for the work we want to do. Uh, there's a lot of success, success energy, success type energy, holding it up, pushing it forward, helping you go in a straight line towards your goals, your dreams, your desires. Two plus seven is a nine energy and the nine energy is all about the completions, the endings, to let go of things that no longer have value, that take up space to make room for the new beginnings we want to invite into our life. When we look at the astrology, the sun will be in Leo and our moon is in Libra for most of Saturday. Um, a fast recap, anybody who missed yesterday's video, okay, as we know from yesterday's video, the moon is void, of course. And a couple of people asked me how, like, how often this happens. Well, basically, every time the moon changes signs, the moon goes into void, of course. The moon goes void for a shortcut to saying all that. And usually it's 20 minutes, a half an hour, maybe a couple of hours, or it's from 2 a.m. to 4 a.m., you know, usually when most of the world is asleep. So I, I don't bother mentioning it on a regular basis because really for the, the little bit of time, Chances are you don't really need that information all that much, but it's quite longer than usual this time around. Okay. The moon on Saturday went 
void for or the moon on Saturday, the moon on Friday, the moon on Friday went void um, in the evening hours. But it remains void through Saturday until the moon was into Scorpio. And that's not going to be until about 6.30 p.m. So we will have a full Sunday of Scorpio energy for our moon energy. So what does a void, of course, mean? Okay, so when the moon is void, it's a time of pause, a time of reflection. It's best to avoid making any kind of important decisions or purchasing any big ticket items. So if you can hold back a day, do it, okay? You'll probably be thankful you did. Now, today the sun has a conversation with Saturn, and that's going to bring in a little bit of discomfort. It's going to be the conversation of the weekend actually happening in the sky, and we recognize the need to make the adjustments in how we want to approach our goals and our responsibilities, okay? So we're going to see obstacles or limitations that stand in our way as we try to move towards new directions. Okay, because we still have all those present obligations and responsibilities and they stand in the way, you know, to have enough time or energy or resources to really step into that new path that you are hoping for. Well, we need to acknowledge any frustration or self-doubt that emerges. Okay, but don't let it derail you. Rather, you know, embrace it as a challenge. See any tension as an opportunity to grow. Be willing to make the compromises. Focus on your strengths. Practice the patience. Understand that everything cannot change in a day or two. Okay, so we have to change our mindset to long term. That if we do five minutes today and we compound that with 10 minutes tomorrow, you know, we're already making some headway at freeing up time or energy for ourselves. If we take $5 a paycheck and then $10 a paycheck, now we're starting to free up resources. Okay, so think long term. You know, rather than letting an, um, rather than letting negative emotions rule the day, I can't even say the word negative anymore. I'm so positive all the time. <laughs> put, put your energy into your own little brainstorming session, okay? Have a conversation with seemingly yourself, okay? And start to align your goals with a reality, okay? Set boundaries like time limits. Perhaps you need to leave work at home or leave work at work and home at home so that you're truly present in your current environment. Or maybe set a timer for how long you can spend on any kind of project whatsoever so it doesn't take even in rest, okay? You're going to sit down and, and watch TV for a while or read a book, fine. Set a timer so that you don't get lost, so you don't lose that window of opportunity because we do need to put in consistency when it's long term. You know, look at the timelines in your life and look at the energy throughout your day and ask yourself, where is time wasted? Or what part of the day do I feel like I can take on more than I presently am? What kind of controls do I need to give up? What short-term sacrifices need to be made? Where do I need to surrender? Where am I wasting time or energy or money in my day-to-day -day routines? Now, Saturday's moon actually gives us the perfect energy to sit in solitude and think about how to create a balance between our dreams and our responsibilities. But Sunday's moon will kind of send us in search of the truth. Okay. As we all know, when the moon is in Scorpio, that Scorpio does not like gray. It's black. It's white. Okay. So any gray areas that we revealed to ourselves, we looked at, okay, over the next several days, it we take the time to go within to search the truth or to, you know, whatever, make a spreadsheet, whatever it takes, things will become black or white if we give ourselves the time to process the obstacles that we're facing. And speaking of obstacles turning into opportunities, for those of you who have signed up for my course, I'm not sure if there is a problem. I think I put it up in the shadow of 
the Mercury retrograde. I don't know why I would do something like that, but I did. And I think there's a glitch, but I'm not sure there's a glitch. But if you've watched that video over seven days ago and you have not received your email, because it looks like there's a couple of emails being held back, let me know. Okay, reach out to me. My email is in the uh, description box. Okay, because I think there's a glitch, um, but I'm not sure. So I need to hear from you because I want you to have the course, of course. Of course, of course. Okay, uh, this weekend, this weekend, take the time to consider how you can adjust your approach, okay? Uh, how you blend your ambitions with the reality of your responsibilities. You know, it's not about giving up your dreams. It's about finding a way to make them work within the current structure of your life. And there's this beautiful, quiet strength in recognizing where you need to compromise in knowing that these adjustments are just part of the journey towards something greater. Okay, let's turn to the cards. Okay, cards, what do you have to tell us for this weekend? Well, we start with, oh my gosh, the Knight of Swords. Look at this. We want to go forward. We want to jump onto that horse. We want to raise our sword and we want to yell charge. So there is this energy in the air and we want to go forward. And maybe that's why we see those limitations and those obstacles so clearly on a day like Saturday. Because we feel like running fast forward and something may stand in our way today. Something must might slow us down. And this is when the average person in life that doesn't really pay attention to the energies of the skies or the numerology or even cards or anything. They just go on blind faith that it'll all work out somehow if they stress enough about it. They'll throw on the towel. They'll stop the dream in its tracks before they even had a chance to try to see if the dream would work. So, yeah, we have this energy where we want to push forward and we'll probably get very frustrated because we can't in the way we want. Um, judgment is our first card. Judgment is here to say the death of something, the birth of another. The Judgment is here to say, okay, we need to let some things go in order to give birth to this idea, this dream, this goal we have. And you'll have great success if you take the time to. Judgment is here. So I didn't even need to go through the astrology or the numerology with you. I could have just pulled the second card out here, which is the first card, because that one was actually from the bottom of the deck. So this is your first card really on the board. And it's all about releasing some things so that we can move forward in like an, a rebirth, a new beginning, a new start, a goal, a dream, a desire to bring in wealth, to bring in prosperity, to bring in abundance, love, health, well-being. What do you want? Spirituality. What are you going for? What are you driving for? Is it a beautiful home? Is it a wonderful family? Is it beautiful friends? Is it stature in the community? Whatever you're going for, okay? This is a time where you need to look at your dream, look at your goal, and say, okay, what stands in my way? And start to whittle away at what stands in your way till nothing does. Not hard energy this weekend at all. We got judgment and then we have the tower card. And the tower card is very much like the, you know, the 17 energy in, in some ways. I don't want you to get them confused because this is a 16 energy, which is more about the awakening. But once we have the awakening, what do we step into? Understanding how to make the impossible possible. So the 16 follows, or the 17 follows the 16. So we have to relate that, that journey. Everything's a journey. So there we are, and I've been seeing that ball there as your soul, as your your soul, your higher self, and you understand what the limitation was, you understand what the obstacle was, and you get electrified, just like we were with Sirius and the and the uh, Sirius and the Sun making the Lion's Gate portal for us to beam in that beautiful manifestation kind of energy for us to bring in the fertility, to start the new beginnings. 
And here we are, and we are blowing out the, the glass ceiling. It doesn't stand in our way. Our old thoughts, our old perceptions, the false truths we live by, other people's ideas of what we should be doing rather than our own ideas of what we could be doing. And we have the hermit. Wow. Strong weekend, guys. Strong weekend. Really turn your focus, turn your attention to the obstacles, the limitations. This is a beautiful week and all the energy is helping you to succeed. The moons are are intertwined with their energy to bring you what the what the planets are giving us. So the hermit is, you know, taking time to go in solitude, taking time to think about where we are in the here and now. Okay. So I know the obstacles. What do I have to work with here? And once we know what we truly have to work with in our surroundings, in our environments, that's when we can actually go forward in the way we actually want. We see it. Now, remove the emotion a little bit from it because that way you will see it with a clearer light. Somehow when we remove our emotion, our past doesn't get intermingled in our thoughts as much. So it, our brains don't relate as much back to the past situations, just the here and now and what we can do going forward. It's like if you walked up to yourself and gave yourself a question, and now you're going to give the advice. You don't know their past. Well, you do because it's you, but okay. But if somebody else, a good friend came up to you and asked you about the same question, you wouldn't know their past. You wouldn't be able to put any of the past into the right decision forward, the most logical decision forward. And usually it is much simpler. So don't overthink here either. Okay. We should have mentioned that earlier. I'm going to pick two more cards because this is, look at this, nine of, nine of cups, wishes fulfilled. Okay, so you're going towards your wishes, you're going towards your dreams, your goals, your desires, your want. And we have the potential to fulfill every single one of those wishes. And we have the magician. Oh my goodness. The magician, what do you want? Okay, so the end of the weekend, we may have... Um, molded our ambitions a little bit to fit the scenario of our life but it doesn't mean that we shrink the dream okay and that's really what these cards are saying it doesn't mean we shrink the dream to fit into our world we shrink our world so that we can make it even larger with our dream okay let's go get an oracle card here so the magician is asking you what do you want and think about it. Okay, we're in the final days of the Lion's Gate portal being open to us, right? It goes till the 12th. So don't stop dreaming. If anything, grow the dream. But we also have to face the reality of the moment. So maybe we can only do one thing today. Maybe it will take us five years to get to where we want to go. So what? Where would you be in five years if you didn't start today? Contemplation 29, which is the 11 energy. So to contemplate where we sit, where we stand. That's kind of like on um, the strength energy. You know, she's sitting there. She's with the lion. I'll hold it up so you can see it better again. But she has no fear of the lion. The lion has no fear. Lion follows our gaze. Enjoy your own company. This is a wonderful time for you to reorganize and consider things you enjoy most in your life. Make a point of spending a little bit of time allowing your mind to wander away from the everyday concerns that occupy your time. Give yourself an opportunity to be inspired. Ruminate on your inner voice. Listen 
to your own counsel. And I think that's the most important part is listen to your own counsel. I see nothing here about going outside of yourself right now to have a conversation with another in order to bring in some kind of clarity or knowledge or understanding or advice of some sort. I see nothing here. It's all going within. It's having that conversation with either yourself or with God, your angels, the universe, your higher self. Let's see what the animals say. Independence with the cat. Yeah, I see us being very solo here. Independence with the cat. Clever, secretive, mysterious, intelligent, independent, and nocturnal. It's your road and yours alone. Others may walk it with you, but no one can walk it for you. This is a strong message that you are to look at where in your life you are relying too heavily on another. Cat tells you you are intelligent and clever enough to walk your path alone. If you've just received a new job or a job promotion, you may feel that you are walking unsteadily. But Cat tells you that you are not giving yourself enough credit. With regards to relationships, Cat tells you that you need to look at the balance of your relationships. Have you been letting your partner take the lead, making the decisions without your input? If so, it's time to bring in the balance of the relationship. And I think that's what we're doing today with all aspects of our life is we're putting things into balance. We're putting it into a new perspective. It's believed that cats were demons, spirits. Witches use them as their familiars. They can sometimes be unpredictable and sneaky. Sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> you may be interested in the supernatural, the occult. Cat tells you to research and learn, which is exactly what we'll do on that Sunday energy. Is we'll research, we'll learn, we'll investigate, we'll ask the questions. Maybe just with ourselves. Okay, cat may be telling you you are in need of healing, so you can snuggle with a cat or kitten. But if you aren't fond of the creatures, you can use massage, meditation, or acupuncture. Or you may simply just need a cat nap. Cats are also nocturnal, and since many are afraid of the darkness, cat tells you it's time for you to look within at the deep and dark fears that you have suppressed. And that is essentially what we're doing, right? We're looking at some of those fears those limitations, those anxieties that hold us back from even taking the first step into our dreams. Until we meet again, remember, I do love you.